Hello, everyone. It is Thursday night. Um, what is this? April the 21st. Gosh, our April month is going to be gone before I can blink. Um, I've been home today and I've been working on this one little project here and I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. If you guys know me personally, you know that I am not skillful when it comes to cardboard. But I brought it today. I brought it. I constructed this mailbox. The cardboard mailbox and I'm super super happy with it not done with it nowhere near done with it y'all know when I when I alter my bottles I bling it it's gonna be blinged out but I had to stop working on it for a little bit and get on here and start sharing it with y'all I am so proud of myself today this is the first cardboard project that I have ever done um, I me and paper and me and glue and all it was just it just it just it never works it never works like I end up just getting really irritated and just like Flinging it to the side. I don't even want to deal with it. But today, I was like, you know what? Perseverance. I'm going to bring it. And that's what I did. And I'm really happy with this. Um, you know, if you guys go back in some of my other videos, I showed you guys how good my daughter is with um, cardboard. And she makes stuff with cardboard all the time. So that's basically what I, I just kind of gave it a shot today. And, and I'm happy with it. And I like the way that it turned out. To look at this, you would think that it was just folded up cardboard that's just been, you know, um, glued together. No, 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 no. There's a lot involved in this. Um, I started off with, let's see, I started off with, um, y'all, I don't have it, I don't have it fastened down yet, so I altered some clothespins. But hold on a second. I have, oh Lord, I'm trying to knock my desk over. Um, post office you get those boxes you know like when you get a package the priority mail boxes um, yes this one hasn't been used because I went in there yesterday to get boxes to send off some gifts and some bottles and such and I ended up getting the wrong size so where my post office is and where I live is like eight miles I said y'all know what I'm keeping the box so I kept it and came in here this morning and I thought what can I work on I've been working a lot on a uh, you know the swap mail and all of that and I said well I'm gonna get this box and I'm gonna try it out so that's what I did I used just a new box for the priority mail um, I do not suggest going to the post office and trying to get these boxes for crafting I mean that's just crazy it's expensive for the company and um, I have an aunt that works at the post office so I just I don't recommend that but one box ain't gonna make them or break them you know um, if you do get a lot of boxes with packages and such that's a good idea keep your boxes um, the grocery stores, sometimes you can get cardboard boxes from there, your cereal boxes, all that stuff. And this is probably something you guys have all heard if you watch YouTube videos with people that upcycle and use, you know, recycle cardboard and such. So I'm not going to blah, blah, blah on that no more. But anyway, back to my project. That's the kind of cardboard that I use. I had, what is that brand of trap? That Mombi brand? It's M A M B I. Um, Oh, a mommy kit. Okay, I don't know. That was a gift of scrapbook and paper that was given to me. But I used two patterns of that paper. I used the green. And then on the inside of it, I used some pink polka dotted one. And I basically, I took the, I took the, uh, the box. Let me see if I can get this camera to go up a little bit. Where the parts are here and they're folded like this. You have your three folds that are like this in the priority mailbox. I used one section of the box. Just one whole section of it. Y'all, I'm a mess. I just knocked my project on the floor. Hold on. I get so excited. Ooh. Anyhow, so that's what I did. I used one section of it and I folded it in. And then I used some cardstock from, I don't know where the pad is at right now. I probably should have had all my stuff laid out. I'm probably one of those unorganized people that other people complain about on Facebook. But you know what? I don't care. Anyhow. This is the pad of paper that I got from Walmart. Um, midnight black textured paper. I love this stuff. It's really sturdy. It's beautiful too. It's got a beautiful texture on it. And um, so I used one sheet of that. And then I got the paper cutter, the little El Cheapo one that I've showed in other videos. And I, I measured it out by the width of the, the lid here for the polka dot one. And then I measured it out the width of the box um, sections for the inside of it. Um, it's still loose. I tried to use some of this um, this Elmer's Dot Runner stuff. Yeah, it's crap. I don't like it. And um, I have the Eileen's Tacky Glue. I've tried to use some of that today. I'm, I'm a hot glue girl all the way. But um, 
basically that's that's what it is it's just I started off with it and I got it um, got it measured out by the paper cutter I did two squares of textured midnight black um, cardstock paper here this is why it's kind of bendy so I folded it in on each side here and here and and um, just kind of glued it down. I also used today some tissue paper, uh, blue tissue paper that I picked up from Dollar Tree a while back. Um, there's still some pieces of it if you look right here on that corner that's like kind of right here kind of hanging. Um, so I did that for the texture. I wanted the texture on it for the metal paint because I used, this is my favorite paint in the world and I'm going to go back to Walmart and I'm going to buy them out because this stuff is just really awesome. I was going for the metal look um, on the box and then you know just layers and layers of paper and I didn't throw any of the paper away every piece of the paper that I had I used today and it, there's different color flows and all of that and it's gonna be really fun because I'm gonna use these patterns that are here for my altered clothespins so I mean you can already look these these stickers I got from Dollar Tree they don't even go to this but you look see how the colors are starting to flow together so that's kind of where I'm at with it. I made this though, and I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud of it. To y'all, it probably looks like a cardboard box, but to me, it's like, uh, yeah, I brought it. So I'm going to use some Velcro maybe here, but then I thought, you know what? I could just use my altered uh, clothespins. And look at that. That's a Dollar Tree sticker with a Dollar Tree clothespin. I'm probably going to paint it. I don't know. I'm just kind of goofing off. But um, look, and it stays closed. It stays closed now. So, I mean, how fun is that? That is so fun. I, I kept a cardboard box from getting thrown away. And all this stuff was, like, really cheap to make. Like, um, this is just a piece of paper. It was one of those little paper bag envelope deweys. And it was tore up. So all I did was just kept the bottom of it because you can't use it for a bag. Put some twine around the clothespin. Stuck a sticker on it with some gems. And look at that. Look at that. Can you guys read that? I don't know if you're going to be able to read that or not. My camera is really terrible. Oh, pause it if you want to read it. I don't know if you can read it or not. It says, take pride in how far you have come and to have faith in how far you can go. So I love little sentiments like this, too. Um, and then this is just super stupid, stupid, simple. I just glued a sticker to the clothespin. Y'all, I'm probably going to paint this clothespin, though, because I don't know about the wood look. I don't know. We'll see. First time I ever using altered clothespins, too. So my plan for this is to fill it up with goodies, and I'm probably going to give this to the neighbor, but I'm kind of liking this idea for my swap mail. I don't know. Some of you ladies that are on my Facebook, you guys tell me yes or no, or should I stick with bottles, or should I just bring it and see what else I can come up with by the end of the week, um, or the beginning of next week um, for some of these. This flower here on the bottom, I just painted that with metallic paint. Yes, you can paint them with acrylic metallic paints. And it makes it stiff. It's really cool. I like that. There's the bottom of it. Looks like a metal box, but it's not. So this is where I'm at with it now. Oh, washi tape. Yes, I have discovered washi tape. I picked up a roll of this. Where's my washi tape at? Really? Oop, there it is right here. Dollar Tree. Look at all that tape for a dollar. I've been seeing this stuff in Dollar General. They've been wanting like $2 a roll, dollar. And it's got the postal um, print on there. So I thought it was perfect for this. So I'm going to call this a mailbox. My plan is to do some altered envelopes on the inside of it. And I can't wait to dive into those. I played around with some envelopes a while back. So um, shifting away from the bottles for a little bit and getting a little crazy with the bottles. I just want to do something different. So nine minutes y'all i'm gonna let you guys go thanks so much for watching thanks so much for your comments thanks so much for joining our page on the swap it group if you're brand new to my channel or if you're just browsing through youtube tonight and you see this video we would love to have you on our swap it page i will include a link underneath this video um if for some reason you send a request and there's no response just kind of hang tight i do work a lot but i will get you added on over there and we would love to have you so, all right, the phone's going off. It's time for me to go. You guys have a good night, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.